One of the challenges that uh, caregivers sometimes face is um, helping their parents maintain some uh, level of independence and or dignity and comfort, even as they require more help. What advice would you give somebody on navigating this? Um, I would say that sometimes the level of care that they're receiving um, may be what is um, allowing them to be more independent. And a lot of times, again, we think of keeping somebody in their home as long as possible will keep them independent. And I think oftentimes that is the case. My personal experience um, with my mother-in-law was that because she was in the home, there were safety issues, she needed constant supervision, and she needed medical supervision, um, that really her independence in a lot of ways was taken away from her because she had in-home care and other people were making decisions for her. When she was able to transition into the assisted living facility, um, while she still had that constant supervision, it was, um, to her, she felt like it was more removed. Um, she had her own apartment. The safety issues were removed there. She was in a secure environment, and she felt like she was able to make decisions um, more independently. So I think looking at the level of care is one way that you can um, allow that person to maintain their independence. As far as um, promoting the dignity of that elderly loved one, involve them in the decision-making process as much as possible. Again, as I said earlier, you don't want to overwhelm them. So if it's going to be dis disorienting to them or add more confusion, you know, you want to provide them with um, easy decisions to make and maybe um, give them a couple of options as opposed to multiple options, but make sure that they do feel involved in that decision-making process.